And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. Have you ever thought, oh man, I wish that guy could have his own series? If yes, so have I. And that's why, in today's video, I'll be talking about all the Spider-Man related characters that in my opinion deserve to have their own series. So, with no further ado, let's start. By saying Spider-Man related characters, I mean exactly that. Alternate versions of Spidey, other people wearing the mask, characters with symbiotes, or people from Spidey's life in general. Right now there are 9 Spidey series, those being Amazing Spider-Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man, Spider-Boy, Spine-Tingling Spider-Man, Venom, Carnage, Spider-Woman, and Spider-Gwen's Mass. Well, that sounded weird. And there are 13 more coming out in the next few months. Miguel O'Hara Spider-Man 2099, Symbiote Spider-Man 2099, Ultimate Spider-Man, Jackpot who is actually Mary Jane, Jackpot and Black Cat, Edge of Spider-Verse, Spider-Punk, What If Venom, Spectacular Spider-Man, Spider-Man Shadow of the Green Goblin, Spider-Gwen the Ghost Spider, and Web of Spider-Man. Oh yeah, and Kid Venom. It's pretty clear we're getting plenty of spider content, but quantity isn't always equal to quality, and we're getting many unnecessary stuff. Like Spider-Boy. I'm starting to like that guy, but honestly I don't think he's important enough to have his own series yet. Kid Venom is also completely unnecessary, and almost all of Peter's friends and family have powers for some reason, and that includes MJ now, who I don't think should even be a superhero, as she was perfect the way she was. What's next? Spider Aunt May? Oh yeah, that's already a thing. Okay, it's a what if story, but you get what I'm saying. So which series would I like to see in the future instead of the ones we're getting now? I would definitely love a new Scarlet Spider title. Either Kane or Ben would be okay. We barely see Kane nowadays, so it would be awesome if he made the comeback. As for Ben, well, we need to see his redemption arc. In the recent Dark X-Men number 4, Ben was released from his cell in Limbo, and when he was asked to join Orkis, he refused, meaning he still has some good left inside of him. If we got the Ben Reilly series, the story could be about his attempt to get his memories back, and maybe even become the Scarlet Spider again. An alternative would be a sort of a flashback story from his time as Spider-Man, which we did get last year, and I'm sure that more of it would be nice. What we are getting for sure though is a Ben Reilly and Kane crossover this summer set after the events of the Web of Spider-Man one-shot. It's going to be called Chasm, Cares of Kane, and I'm not sure if this is going to be an event or an actual series, but either way, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't say I'm complaining about the 2099 content we're getting, and it's not like Miguel is completely left out, but I don't think that a few limited series are enough. I think that you can all agree that a Spider-Man 2099 ongoing series with Peter David as the writer would be awesome. But for now, we'll have to settle with whatever we can get. At least David is writing one of the limited series. Spider-Man The Spider's Shadow has to be one of the best Spider-Man stories I've ever read. Sip Zadarsky really cooked in that one. The story was very unique, and though it featured familiar themes, at the end of the day it was like nothing we've seen before. If you haven't read it yet, then skip to the next part, cause there will be spoilers. The story ended with the death of Reed Richards and Spider-Man joining the Fantastic Four. Oh, and Kingpin, who was presumed to be dead, turned out to be alive at the end of the story, and it seemed like we were getting a sequel with Kingpin as the main villain. But it was just a mediocre short story in Extreme Venomverse number 5 that wasn't even written by Zdarsky. This just left me wanting so much more and I think that we deserve a proper sequel to that phenomenal story. If you have read Rick Remander's Venom Run, you probably know why it's considered to be one of the best Venom runs. The stories were very unique and Venom got some pretty solid character development throughout the series. However, it wasn't about Eddie Brock, but Flash Thompson. But, of course, Eddie was too popular as Venom, so he eventually took his symbiote back. Flash had also gained a lot of popularity though, because of his series, so they had to find a way to keep both Venoms. And that's why they decided to give Flash the anti-Venom symbiote. However, it's been a long time since the last time we saw him in action, and okay, he is coming back in the new Carnage series, but only as a side character. Like, come on, Carnage gets his own series, and Flash doesn't? 
If you're a fan of Flash Thompson as Venom, then you probably agree that we need a new Agent Venom series. If you've been reading the most recent Venom run, you know that it's not about one, but two Venoms. Eddie Brock and his son Dylan. But this thing is so annoying, cause when Dylan's story arc is over, you go to Eddie. And when Eddie's story is over, you go back to Dylan, again and again and again and again. Not to mention that if you don't like one of them so much, you have to wait for months for his story to be completed until you get to read the other character's story. And that made me think, why don't they just give them two separate series? Wouldn't that make the reading experience a lot smoother? In my opinion, we should have a title called Venom, featuring Dylan, and a title called King in Black, featuring Eddie. Then it's up to the reader to choose which one they prefer, or just get both. Either way, it would be way more convenient. Well guys, these are all the comics I'd like to see in the future. Is there a particular character you'd like to see in his own series? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and allow all notifications. And if you want to get the complete Spider-Than experience, you might as well follow me on Instagram. Well, until the next time, goodbye true believers!